friends. We are currently at Maritime Creek Park in Bellingham, Washington, and I am trying to capture a salmon run. So a few days ago, while I was trying to film the city raining and failed miserably at it, I did get some good intel that the salmon are currently spawning and they suggested that I check it out for my videos. So it wasn't a complete bust because I got a video idea and some insider knowledge. I did some research and Maritime Creek Park is supposed to be the best spot. It's supposed to be the best part to start the run. But even though I've lived here for about five years now, I haven't explored much of Bellingham. So I don't have a great idea of where all of this starts. There's supposed to be like a fish run trail. Back here, there is a little river. It looks really low, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but hopefully I'll get some good shots. Now, one of my viewers suggested thinking about the symbolism. Like if you're gonna show a, a spider web, it's probably gonna mean something around death and decay. If you show blooming flowers, it symbolizes, you know, springtime, a new beginning, stuff like that. And I was trying to think of something I could say as far as the salmon run goes in symbols. But it starts in October, so I can't really show new life. It's kind of symbolizing death because they die during this. Where is this part? Okay. Hatchery Chinook, salmon in Whatcom Creek. Not native, but here to help, supporting oceans. Does it say where I can find it? Not really, but I do see some stairs. It won't be a horrible idea to get a good look my god, do you guys ever get really nervous when you hear something in like the woods right next to you? Whew. It's probably a bird hopping around, but it's still like, is it? Ugh. Anyway, I found the river and I found the stairs to the river. So now we're just going to try and find some salmon, but I don't see any right now, I'll be honest. Worst comes to worst, it's a beautiful trail. I've got a nice little river. I think I may have to skip thinking about symbolism today, even though that was something I wanted to try. Like I was really excited to try it. What is moving on down there? Ooh, okay, I saw some movement. I think what's gonna be best for me right now is I'm gonna do an establishing shot where it's a time lapse and that'll give me time to look around while my camera is set up to kind of see what there is for me to capture. Also, uh, I'm wearing mostly white-ish clothes and white shoes. Horrible idea for this. <sighs> Next time I'll know better. I haven't found the salmon yet, but I had bird seeds still left over and I got some really cool duck shots, like a time lapse. It does take a long time to do a time lapse. It's like 11 minutes of just standing there waiting. But I got, the ducks came really close, so I'm happy with that. All right, off to explore. I honestly don't care if I get great footage today, just seeing a heron that close, totally worth it. All right, so right now I am seeing, I'm trying to be a little quiet because the heron is like willing to get fairly close to me, like a boat length away from me, which is really cool. As long as I'm sitting here being patient and not moving, it's, it's freely walking around, which the ducks I get because they'll come for food, but a heron is like huge in comparison. Okay, he's walked far enough away that I'm not gonna be disturbing him, although that is the direction I wanna go. I'm seeing salmon jump, he's fishing, there was another one that just jumped. So we're gonna be like the heron today and we're gonna be patient and quiet and still and wait for our opportunity to get our shot. Really cool. Even if I don't get salmon, this was worth it. And it, I didn't have to trek very long. It's just a really cool spot to sit and contemplate and look at the surroundings, so. I do need to start thinking about bringing like maybe a little cloth to sit on though. I have a very messy bum.
what I'm seeing right now because I'm not really seeing the best way to capture it so maybe you guys can give me some ideas but there's really cool markings on the ground here from you know water currents really cool rock formations here with really cool trees just am I am I describing everything as cool I am I think but there's just a lot and I'm not capturing it the way I want to I do think maybe I want this as my establishing shot. So I am gonna switch it to slow-mo. I'm gonna get this as the wide. And then I'm gonna try and get down low. And then I'm really gonna try and get some of these rocks in different, um, different angles. My hand is already a little dirty from this. So, you know, hopefully the bus driver won't go, no, you're too dirty. Don't get on my bus and sit on those seats with muddy butt. Steven can always come pick me up. All right, so we are officially in the walking part of the journey. Time to get some walking shots. I think I did all that work and I didn't press play. So let's do that again. All right, so there's a rock wall behind me. I'm gonna utilize that. And for the third walking shot, I'm gonna be walking straight at you guys. Oh yeah, you guys can't see it as great as I can. Like objects are closer than they appear in the mirror. I'm gonna have to get a lot closer, but those are the falls I've been looking for and I see some people up there, so I know I can get closer. Thank you. 
no salmon do I care not at all it was so pretty those rocks full of grass I saw a heron super close the ducks got like almost in my lap um, the only thing I don't like is how much time I've spent out here like that's the only thing that I'm really having a hard time with is is the time I should have probably made this challenge like 30 days every other day <laughs> but oh well it's still, it's still testing me to see what I am capable of. Oh, and I'm hoping I brought batteries. You are almost dead. All right, I have found my way back to where I started. I think for it to be a cohesive thing. And also with shorts, you want to kind of have the ending make sense for the new beginning because of the replay aspect of it. So I want to end where I began and maybe sit around and wait for some salmon to jump. That would be perfect ending if I could actually get some salmon. If not, that's okay. I had a lot of fun. I had no idea that this laid in the middle of our city. Like this is right next to downtown and it's gorgeous. So regardless, I had fun. And rather than show you guys if I finally did get salmon, I'll show you the end results and say, I'll see you next time. Bye. So I forgot to get a thumbnail again. You guys need to start yelling at me every day. Get a thumbnail, because <laughs> what the heck? <laughs>